up what is going on and welcome back to the channel it is fc neo tokyo we are here with another installment of my heart and fuego still season one still don't know what episode we're on still all right so if you missed the last couple episodes or even the whole season my heart and fuego is where your boy takes over the chicago fire and the season was really rough at the beginning transfer window opened we've done wholesale changes and we're looking a little bit better. Now, we were dumb. We weren't looking ahead. So we had a league match, which I think we won. We might have drawn. I don't even remember. But then we had a U.S. Open Cup match, which you know your boy loves the Open Cup. I want to win the Open Cup this year. I do not care about MLS Cup. I care about the Open Cup. So I ran everybody into the ground. Spoilers for this episode. This is a strictly B team. I don't care. This league game, I'm throwing, I'm booting it, kicking it, throwing, whatever you want to say. It's <laughs> red on red. All right. Um, we're doing. We're, it's just strict B team. So, Mosisian gets another start. Luckiest man in show business. All right, Edwards, you're gonna play. Oh, man, because ah, I'm going to need Jovan Jones at defense. I'm going to need him to play defense. I'm j it's just the facts. Ooh, man. Ooh, this is where your boy has to get a little inch, a little interesting with his lineup because we ain't got nobody. Actually, we do. We got this. We got this. Anyway. And I don't think I'm going to make Horvath sit out here and take the L <laughs> like that. <laughs> we'll give you we'll give him a, ray, a break. We'll, we'll let him let him relax. Oh god, do we we don't even have another center back. I have nobody to even put in, do I? Oh my god, I don't have enough players to have a full B squad. Not great. Not great at all. All right. Uh, no. What are we going to do? Oh, man. What? No. No, we literally don't have enough players. Where can you play? Of course not. Somebody help. Oh, God. All right, well, who are we going to run into the ground? Yugis, Vinicius, Vinicius. All right, we'll do Vinicius because we can maybe stick Schweinsteiger at defense next game. I know, crazy, which means should we not play Polster? Should we play? Oh, God. I just thought I was going to put a bunch of scrubs on the field. This guy's, This got way harder. I mean, we're almost there. We literally just don't have a center back. Uh, oh, there's just no answer, is there, either. All right, I have an answer. It is an ugly answer, but I have an answer. How tall is Matt Polster? He's six foot tall. Why not? Screw it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, you go there. You go there. This is the ugliest team ever, I know. Don't stress about it. Wait. That was it? We did it! All right, we got a whole B squad out there. I'm feeling good. And, yes, I know, I have, like, 60 keepers. Don't ask. It's been a, it's been a long season. It's been a long season, but we are now in third place in the playoff race, which... A, Atlanta has not lost a single game all season. Not one. Not a single game. Atlanta is going – they're, they're – what, what did they call Arsenal when they did that with Henri? Um, uh, not indestructible. What was it? Something. I don't remember what the word was. Um, welcome to every one of you. Invincible. That's Tyler. what it was. The Invincibles. That was going to bother me forever. Yeah, and the Red Bulls have a pretty sizable lead over us. So really, my ceiling for the season is third. 
and um, my floor is not making the playoffs. It's a little tight between three and six and seven, but after that, it kind of falls off. And we're we're obviously playing much better, so we am gonna have to worry about that. We're gonna make the playoffs. I just I want to get in at third. I feel like if I can finish third, even if I get bounced in the first round and I win the Open Cup, this will be a complete success of a season. You can see we have the bones of what I want to do. We're really, we have the starting lineup of what I want to do. I just want to load up this bench with some MLS pros that have been around the block a little bit, guys that I know and love, guys that when the going gets tough, I can just throw on in. You know, like Marlon Hairston, who's coming next season. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you Maybe see I should it, have Alan? changed my yeah, formation. I mean, it can be That'll too late for that. Oh, not too late, but... If they decide to come over all oh, man, look at this. Look at this team. This team wouldn't win anything. Wow. Matt Polster at center back. I, I know. It, but yet it's still more sane than playing Schweinsteiger there. And I don't care what he said that he likes playing there. He likes the paycheck is what he likes. He likes that he don't have to worry about shit in Chicago. That's what he likes. I mean, he'd rather be um, winning, right? But it ain't really bothering him too much. <laughs> Some of these players getting their first minutes of the season right now, by the way. Not many of them, but Daniel Johnson. Oh, oh, that's like a bad ball by Corrales. It's all right. Really Polster go out to that young wing. Whoa! That was a bad roll. It's okay. I'm... Actually, okay. I'm going to set this as attacking. And then I want to see what kind of nonsense it wreaked on my setup. Yep. <laughs> Un absolutely unbelievable that they pull this shit. It's so annoying. <sighs> yeah, because I want Hassler and Luis Soniak playing... So what the hell is going on here? All right. I hate that when you just all I want to do is just change to attacking. I don't want my entire team to change shape. I don't want to have to set it for every scenario in life. Like, oh god. I really can't build out of the back today. I got to do something else. All right. Regroup now. Nice. Well, they have deep resources financially Paris Saint-Germain as this deal shows. Yeah, it seemed the price That's was some bank. Week, and it's reached about 55 million. Like, so the newspapers tell us. That's stupid money. And like, I know what you're going to say and everything that it's not real. But real things are happening. Like, I'm, I'm pretty close. I'm like this close to jumping head first or full on deep end bandwagon jump of Kristen Pulisic. I'm I'm close, but he is not like I could have seen him going for even 50, 60 million, but like 90 million dollars to Chelsea. They literally did that to sell jerseys. They literally want him to sell jerseys, especially with the fact that they're like, hey, I'm gonna give Sorry a chance to do anything. They're just gonna fire him after being a little disappointing. Like, you know, I really kind of think I know they're back on the upswing despite. You know, they lost to PSG, which is whatever. Like, who did you really think Man U was going to win the Champions League? But anyway, like, I really kind of think they messed up by just jettisoning Moyes so fast. And I know, yeah, they missed the, the Champions League that year because of it. But then they had that Mourinho fiasco. Like, I really think they should have just been like, we're united. We have a strong enough brand and money that... We will give David Moyes three years to see out his vision. There's no way this idiot is going to get relegated. So let's see what the vision is. Let's give this guy who did who freaking did MacGyver-esque things with rubber bands and, and Tim Howard over at Everton. 
and give him a chance with a with a pocketbook. Nah, screw that. <laughs> we we dip the six and we freak out. And I say we, it's not. I'm just posing as a Manchester United person. I'm actually not a fan. Just, just spitballing here. So Moyes doesn't get a chance to do anything. They go into the the Jose Mourinho fiasco, and now they're gonna do whatever with uh um I don't know who Oli or whoever. I you know I'm not I'm not up on the old like. If it happened in Europe before 2007, I don't know about it. <laughs> Call me a bad soccer fan. And I said soccer. But, you know, whatever. I don't care. Anyway, I digress. I just, I feel like you could have seen something really special again. Like another Sir Alex Ferguson. And I don't understand why these big teams don't just do that. Like, I get that, yes, that's like... You know, you could miss out on potentially like tens of millions, if not a hundred million dollars worth of revenue from not being in Champions League for a season. Or even like, God forbid, three seasons, right? But like, why not get a guy who's got a plan, give him the three seasons to do what he can, and then like, and see what's up. Despite like, so, like, because at this point, some of these teams, some, most of these teams are big enough that they don't even need, um... They don't need anything. They don't. They don't need to make Champions League to to pay to make payroll. They don't need to finish first to sell jerseys. Like it helps, but at this point, it's like they're okay, right? So take take the lumps and build a team and have a clear vision. Build a dynasty and a and a something that's going to continue on to where a you don't have to spend a lot, but b even when you do spend, you're only spending on one or two guys, and you're not like making these massive panic buys like Chelsea. Chelsea is making panic buys and they're buying people f for non on the field reasons. Like if Hazard is gone and they're 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 grooming Pulisic to be the heir apparent, then okay. Then I'll eat my words. But if but if they don't even know if Hazard is gone or not and he just goes and instead of sitting behind Sancho or San who is it over there uh, Dortmund is it Sancho or is it like um, Sonic I don't remember who the kid is but the, he's killing it so he's the Pulisic stuck on the bench if he just goes to Chelsea and sits or even like even just gets thrown back out on loan and plays for like Crystal Palace or something stupid it just it's a bad move I mean, I guess you got to make some kind of move because, you know, you're he's stuck. He's, I mean, and yes, he's stuck behind a guy who's playing like one of the top ten players on the planet. But, you know, like there's a lot of teams that could use a Christian Pulisic, who he could start first day, and they could contend for Champions League positions and and such. Like, I mean, I maybe I'm talking on my, you know what, but. He could start at Tottenham. He could start in a lot of places, actually. Oh, it's good. It's good. Look at look at this. Wide open. Oh God, they called him an embarrassment. I mean, to be fair, he's only gotten reserve league or reserve. Uh, they don't have a reserve league in MLS. But anyway, it's only gotten reserve minutes. I sent him out to my USL club. That's right. We have a USL club. Peoria, Illinois. Oh! Oh! Second chance. I thought that was in. I really did. I was feeling good about it. I was feeling it. I'm telling you, if I, I don't care. If I can make this ugly and get a 0-0 tie, I'll be happy. That's fine. Keep the ball. Just keep it out the back of my net. Mmm, yes. Red Bulls are about to get conquer Which I love that that has become a verb. It's pretty great. The wide man can show his skills here. 
the cross has gone behind. It's a poor effort. Man, that cross was so bad. It it took me out of the re, like the escapism of the video game made me think of how weary the world is. That's how bad that cross was. No, of course he didn't win that ball. Lawrence. I was I I wanted him to win that ball. Davis. With Wright Phillips. Well this attack Bradley Wright Phillips said something really interesting a couple years back. He was just like, why why struggle to make a League One roster or you know, bounce around the championship to recently relegated team to recently relegated team when you could be a star in Major League Soccer? Edwards. Bet. But that's kind of like the Lee Wynn model. Like, before he came back to Major League Soccer, back, which I, I don't, I'm not sure if he started at Major League Soccer or not. Hit him on the counter! And Luis Soniak! The worst Argentinian to play the game! Well, there's a goal that perhaps not gone according to the... I'm sorry, it's not really Luis Soniak I'm mad at. I'm mad at the fact that the team I root for literally was like, I know we have no striker. I know we're having trouble. We just signed Luis Soniak. And then to not, like, accept that that was a terrible idea and continue to trout him out year after year after year. Well, he's got a goal. <laughs> Luis Oniak might help us steal three points. Because, listen, this game does not matter. This game does not matter. Do not care. The next game against LAFC is where we're, we, we care. I, that... You will see a grown man cry on stream if if we lose that game, or depending on how we lose that game, because we we can't. I have to, I have to raise silverware this year, and it has to be the Open Cup. Michael Maria. I really hope Atlanta isn't still in the competition. By the way, they have. Did I mention Atlanta has yet to lose a game? That's a corner. In goes the corner. But this could be <gasps> the leveler. No, he's missed it. Oh, I think he's let the All right. All right. I feel lucky with the first one. Actually, I feel lucky with the second one. First one about gave me a heart attack off the off the post or the uh, crossbar. It's all right, though. We'll reel it in. Uh, cut out by the defender. Right, Phillips. Adams. Four on the ball. Get there, get there. So it's oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God, that was only halftime? I feel like I've been defending for, like, an oh, eternity. Featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, and what a good time to score that was. Uh, but he's siding the lead. We were wide open. I don't know. Did I counter that off of? Yeah, I countered that off a corner, right? Yeah, he got plenty. Well, oh, they're not gonna show. But I, I countered that off a corner, so that's why we caught him so far off guard. <laughs> that is the ugliest. Even I know what if you're watching this and you're like a a, a, a Euro snob or you can't get down with Major League Soccer other than you just want to hear my goofy ass, whatever. But even whatever you think of Major League Soccer, you know the quality is much better than the team that I put out on the field today. I have dishonored the sport in this team that I put out on the field. Other than Mo Adams, I love you, Mo. Which I find it weird. Did I just transfer my love of Marisa Dew over to Mo Adams? They are different people, but I need another Mo to look. It's long. Michael Maria. I like the advantage and 
Oh, okay. I was like, he's off. Oh, I was going to tell him to slow it down. <laughs> Little did I know, he decided to get rid of it. Mosisian doing Mosisian things. It's fine. We're good. Well, that's good support. As the, and here's the shot. Heavy <sighs> power and not too much direction. Ah, oh, I feel good. You know, every year I'm like, man, like I look at the standings and I go, man, the Red Bulls are good? Like, who do they even have? And then like by the end of the year, it's like, oh, well, they had Kaku and they had Bradley Wright Phillips and they got Tyler Adams and they got this and they got that and they got Royce. And it's like, oh, crap, I didn't even realize. Adams. Oh yeah, Connor didn't. Oh yeah, I got a uh, um, not Drew Connor. What's his name? Reggie Cannon. I got from New York this season here, and uh, I did not let him play against his old team. The Open Cup is more important. He can solve it, or he can settle his vendettas later. Michael Maria. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. All of this is dangerous. Ah, oh. for real, if you see <laughs> Matt Polster and Grant Lillard as the, the starting the center back pairing, here. I would cross everything into the box. Everything. Just cross, 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 cross. No chance with that one. Too high all the way. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Nobody I need for the next game is going to see this field. I don't care if there's an injury. We'll play with with 10. <laughs> Drew Connor is the only guy on the bench I think I have that I can pull in that won't factor into the next game. This looks promising. It kind of does, unfortunately. Get that out of there. Yup. Win this ball. Nope. Can't hold the ball for nothing. Although, I mean, to be fair, I thought he was, like, good in 2009. That was 10 years ago. I wish we could get Major League Soccer on more of the traditional schedule. But... Obviously, it's super hard, like we just saw with Snowpocalypse and shit, <laughs> and the Lawrence. the polar vortex and negative 37 really degrees in the morning here. temperature. Oh, get it out! Defensive yes, we've learned that it'd be tough to play games in the winter here in the states. But with that said, it'd be nice because you like you can never sign a big name player at the start of the season for a major league soccer club you can only ever sell big name players and it's just it's kind of crap because no team wants to get rid of anybody like the guys they want to get rid of suck or need a new location to kind of get a new lease on life or oh so Connor Lade coming on for nobody they're going to play with 12 Slade, I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. I think, the wide man's got a chance I think I've proven that I'm terrible at names. Get there. The Soniak! <laughs> no diving header out of Soniak. Now, I will admit this game is rather realistic because this is the kind of crap that happens in Major League Soccer. Oh, the fire, everybody's injured, they're resting everybody. Oh, yeah, they're going to get smoked. And then they went 3 nothing against New York. Nope. Oh, wow. Ooh, way to get there. Here we go. Who are you? Because you're going to pop it. Daniel Johnson is not having a good game. 
It's all right. We didn't need him to have a good game. We just needed him to be a warm body. <laughs> Hassler's pretty tired. Yep, that's it, Connor. It's my only sub. Either Adams or Hassler or somebody's got to come out. <laughs> Look at that. Mo Adams holding them off. Adams. Just call him Dima Kovalenko. Just, Just call him Dima Kovalenko, I think. I think I think that's how you say his name. I forget now. It's been a lot of years since he played. It's given away. God, that guy was dirty. Still love him. Oh, no, we're not catching him. Bring him down. Let's make sure it's outside the box. Hands on. Throw it to Mo. Throw it to Mo. That's fine. This is better, actually. Yeah. Hit him on the counter. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. It was nicely worked until that point when it broke down. Now they've got to try and regain possession. You know who I should have brought over was David Akam. Didn't even check him out. I don't know. I really, I have money to spend on the transfer market still. I've made so many changes. Like, the only thing I want is a left back, and I really don't have a plan for one. And then I also don't want to, like, do anything too stupid. Because I already have freaking um, Giovanni. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're getting another one. We're getting another one, ladies and gentlemen. If there were no questions. Oh, man. When you have a terrible team and you can get three points, it feels so good. No wonder Robles was freaking out there. How quickly did they go from back to front there? What a counterattack. Oh, they want to see this again, this goal. Hmm. Beautiful. 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 All right, who is the most tired? That would be Daniel Johnson. See, we made it work. Where you at? There you are. Nope. Nope. I just told you where I wanted <laughs> I, I that is the most infuriating stupid ass thing that this game does okay Substitution for Chicago. getting his first goal to see see and I even gave Edwards some minutes up front I even tried mm, you know what that's a lie I didn't give him any minutes up front I uh, got Rui Salvo pretty fast I just I couldn't get Edwards to do anything in preseason I didn't like how he felt didn't like how he played didn't like his attitude in the locker room just had to move on he could lay it off to the supporting player on the attack Man, so apparently we lost contact with one of the uh, Mars rovers. And I find that interesting because, like, we can't get a human on Mars, but we sent, like, a rover out there. Like, it just, you know, all the crap they tell you about space just doesn't add up. Just does not add up. Oh, what a ball, actually. What a ball. Closing in on full time. And with the ball nice. Corner, it's a long way away from the goal that they're protecting. Please give time very much. <gasps> the friend of the home team. Ball in the corner, out of play now, and it's their ball as well. He got player of the game. Adams. Well, now they've got the ball. What are they going to do with it? Let's well, boot it. Well, gonna be three minutes added on. They don't matter. Add on ten minutes. They ain't getting it. 
That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. But, um, so I watched the little documentary thing on these rovers because there was like two, the like area. the two quote unquote Still main ones, here. I guess, Discovery the and, um, I don't remember what the other one was called. Um, but they were talking about the technologies behind them and stuff and how they landed. Like, one was really stupid. <laughs> Like it, like it dropped it from a huge height, and then they had to use these rocket propellers to like slow it down. They didn't have so many chances. The winning team. And then the other one just actually like landed from not too high and just smashed and rolled open type of thing. But um, it's, I don't know, man. It's good performance from him, and I think it's hard to fully wrap your brain around receiving images from something that far away. Um, it's like 200,000 million miles away or something. Something like that. Really makes you think and wonder what's really going on. I mean, we stole one. We stole it. We got our three points. I better not crap the bed this next game because we got everything we wanted. We rested everyone. We got three points. Like, let's see. Oh, shoot. I don't want uh, Whatever. Whatever. Oh, Brandon. What do you mean we're not on track? We're fine. Stop it. They're so worried about shit all the time. All right, so let's check out the short list real fast before we wrap things up. Let's see if there's anything to be had over here. If there's anything we can <laughs> Raul Jimenez. Some of these are dreams. Some of these are dreams. Solomon Rondon. I actually love that name, by the way. Well, for Brody, Boney, I don't think, I think he's on loan, right? This is the kind of person I'm talking about. Teal Bunbury. I want Teal Bunbury on my team. Just hang on the bench. This was this was my answer. I I have the money for him. He's only 27. This was my answer for Nemanja Nikolic getting bought out. Oh my god, I forgot to mention that with the updates. We lost everybody I wanted to keep. This was my backup. He's on loan. At Crystal Palace. Like, <laughs> Giovanna, jo Giovanni coming next season. Anyway, left back. That's what I'm supposed to be paying attention to. Left back. <laughs> oh, I want to do dumb things. I love dumb things. Oof. All right. We started life one to loan this dude. I mean, maybe we can still get away with that. I'll look at other loan targets. Thank you very much. Nacho? It's a great name, by the way. And not to not even in any kind of insulting or making fun of him way. Like, it's cool. You can play center back or left back but you are 29 sir oh yeah this dude way out of my brain a guy can dream right you're 30 can't do it how much Oh, he just... Dang. He just signed... Oh, God. And Gray Garza. All right, so the left-back situation didn't get any better. Although, this one guy... See, I'm the coach of, of Iceland as well, and Iceland has yet to have a game. But this dude also plays left-back. Oh, man, I kind of wanted... I wanted this guy. I might still sign this guy. 
I might still do it. I might. Huh. Oh, here he is. Magnuson. He just joined... Ah. Of course he did. Of course he did. And you idiots play on the other side of the field as well? I mean, Eric Lehigh can. But he just... He did not... He did not recently join Hall. Whatever. All right, so we're not signing a left back tonight. I'll have to do some more research. We'll figure things out. We will sign a left back at one point. I'm sorry to waste... It. It's okay. You got to see the plan, though. You see... Whatever. Hey, I can't believe we won this game. But if you had a good time, leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, man. FC Neo Tokyo over on Twitch and YouTube. All one word. We just do this thing all the time, man. We'll be back with another episode of My Heart and Fuego. We gonna we're gonna get we're gonna do two or three seasons before. Well, wait, what month is this? All right, I think we can get three seasons in on FIFA 19 before FIFA 20 comes out, and then we'll we'll reboot the series. So, anyway, I digress, y'all. It was really nice having you. Peace out, and come hang out with your boy next time.